Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a full face of makeup using products that I no longer use. <laughs> so, alright, we're just gonna like jump right into it. I'm gonna pull my hair back first. Okay, so first thing is I'm going to use a color correcting concealer. I never color correct, I honestly just don't have time for it, but we're using, I'm using the Bella Pia Cosmetics Pro Concealer palette. <laughs> can't speak. Right, I'm going to use the green color. I'm just going to use my finger and bring that around my nose. I have a little bit of redness around my nose. And I've got a little spot on my chin. Okay, and then I'm going to use this like salmon orange color. This is really orange to go underneath my eyes with. Ooh. Wow, this is a look. Um, alright. So I'm going to put on a foundation now. I'm going to go in with this um, Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse Foundation. This one, um, I think I bought it because Emily Noel recommended it, but it doesn't really suit my skin tone. My, not my skin tone, my skin types. So I don't really use it often, but we are going to use it today. Um... I'm going to use my um, Real Technique sponge to apply it, since I think this will be the best way to apply it. It's a good color match for me, it's just not a good like ugh, foundation for really dry skin, and I have very dry skin around my eyebrows, between my eyebrows, under my eyes, like I just have really really dry skin, so this isn't the greatest one for me. I remember the problem I had with this foundation. Okay. I don't know if you can see it, but it lets off these like little pieces of foundation. Like it's impossible to apply this and not make a mess all over yourself. Love it. So the foundation itself isn't bad. It's a good color for me. I mean, as I said, it's definitely going to be a little dry, but it doesn't leave your skin feeling sticky at all. But I think I'm going to like switch to my iPhone cam so you guys can see. All over my lap, there's just this like little pieces of foundation like, all over me. Okay, now we're going to move on to concealer. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Concealer. Um, I used to use this a while ago. It's kind of like the theme of a lot of these products is they're products I used to use and then just for like one reason or another stopped using them. Okay, so I'm going to blend this in with my sponge. Next is setting powder going to use this Ofra oil control powder. I bet you probably can guess why I don't use this. Because it's for oily skin and I have dry skin. I'm not going to put it up here like between my brows or above my brows, but I'm just going to put it where I put concealer. So like under my eyes, on my chin, and around my nose. Okay going to bronze the skin. I'm going to use this Essence Sun Clip Bronzer in the shade 30 Sun Loved. This is a really light bronzer. That's what I remember at least. I don't really use this often. My main product that I use is the um, Benefit Hoola Bronzer. It's my favorite bronzer. So, this bronzer, it isn't very pigmented, it's probably like the biggest problem is like I really tried building this up and you can't even see that I put on bronzer, so, awesome. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic, if you can pick up on that. Alright, next is this Coverall Cheekers Blush in the shade, shade, <laughs> in this shade, shade, in the shade Soft Sable, wow I can't speak, 
I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush to apply it. Um, I don't know, I never reach for these. I have a couple of them, and I don't reach for them often. I don't know why. It's got a little bit of like a mom smell to it, let me be honest. A little bit of a mom smell, not in a bad way. It's kind of like, ugh. It just sounded like I was like a 14 year old boy going through puberty. <laughs> Um, it does add like some really pretty natural color to the cheeks though. I do like this. This is probably my favorite thing I've used so far. The concealer wasn't bad, it just felt like it might be a little drying, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to put on some highlight now as well. I'm going in with my Luxie Tapered Highlighting Brush. I'm going in with this Wet n Wild Boozy Brunch. Oh, highlighter mine broke a little bit, so it's all over my legs. So I'm wearing shorts, so I decided not to put on my jeans yet. I always had a foundation all over my jeans, and I would have highlighter all over my jeans. Okay. Whew. I don't really have a reason why I never use this. It isn't like the product's fault that mine, like the actual product's fault. It's just mine's broken, so it's getting all over me. But it is a pretty highlighter. All right, now we're gonna move on to the eye products. So I normally use. I feel like I should do like a video of like products that I always use and like show in comparison to this. But I normally use Max Painterly. But today I'm gonna use this Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Um, I this is probably kind of old to be honest. Well. I got it as a sample, so this can't be too old because I only use paint early now because it's just nice and like on all one step. You're priming your eyes, you're getting everything to be like one tone. Sometimes I'll only apply MAC Painterly and like call it a day. And like that's the only thing I put on my eyes. Like I never, sometimes I won't even put eyeshadow on. I'll try like some Sometimes I won't even put eyeshadow on if I'm in a rush and I don't have much time. Like, I'll just put painterly on and, like, set it with something and then I'm good to go for the day. Okay. So, let's set. I'm going to go in. So, for eyeshadow, I could probably do, like, a full week of, like, eyeshadow that I don't really use. Maybe because my eyeshadow drawer itself is so full that it's hard to find things. Especially these. So, this is the Morphe. Okay, so I realized that the audio for this made zero sense. So I'm going to take the Morphe 35O palette and I am taking the bone color with a like a flat shader brush and putting this all over the eye to set that primer that I had just used. Okay, now using a fluffy crease brush, I'm taking the an orange shade from this palette and I'm putting this all over my crease so from the outer corner and then working it all the way inwards okay so now using a maroon shade which is located in the middle of the third row i'm using this on the Lexi 231 Small Tapered Blending, and I'm using this to help define my crease. I'm mainly using it on the outer corner, and I'm going to blend it inwards, but focusing the majority of the color on the outer corner. Now I'm going back in with that fluffy crease brush that I had used earlier and I'm going in and just kind of making sure that everything is blended out and there is no harsh lines in between the colors. We're going to call it good enough. Um, okay, now for all over the lid, this is the second row from the bottom, the second color in and I'm going to put this all over the lid. I am applying this with my finger, that way I get the least amount of fallout with with the highest amount of pigment. So I just did have a little bit of fallout, but I'm just gonna take my powder brush and see if I can brush it away. But not bad. And the look that I made was the look that I have is like something I can work with. 
Okay, I'm gonna take. Now the final step for the eye look is to take that same Lexi 231 brush and I'm using the burgundy shade that we had used earlier to help define the crease. I'm using that to just smudge underneath the eyelids to give help line the lower lash line. Taking this cover. <coughs> I'm taking this cover no perfect blend eyeliner. Then black brown. I'm gonna just gonna smudge this underneath. For eyeliner, I'm going to, for my top lash eyeliner, I'm going to use this. I'm not looking forward to this at all. Um, I used this one time and I hated it, so I don't know why I still have this. I really should just throw it away. Okay, I hate this eyeliner. I still hate it. It's still bad. It's impossible to get a decent, like, even line across, and then it also, the product, it feels, it feels funky, forgot that, and also the product, like, it just doesn't go on, like, pigmented enough, so you're kind of having to, like, re-go over everything that you already put on. This is just horrible. Okay. Lashes, I'm gonna go with this Essence Plump No Plump Mascara. I don't really use this. I do use the one that comes in the pink tube from Essence, though. I do like that one, so. Okay, the mascara's not horrible. It's not my favorite, but it's not terrible. I think I just hate the liner so much that, like, everything just kind of doesn't look great on me. Alright, brows. There's not really a brow product that I don't use every brow product I oh sorry I'm sitting on my feet my feet are falling asleep okay so every single brow product I own I use so I'm just gonna do them off camera all right and then to wrap up the little look I have this lipstick that isn't gonna go with the look at all but this is the Urban Decay Notorious Comfort Matte Lipstick uh, this is a purple shade and isn't going to go let me see if I can find something else Ugh, went well. This is still kind of purplish, but I'm gonna go in with the um, color design lipstick from Lancome and love it. It doesn't totally go with the look, but it's better than what the other one would. It's comfortable though. Alright, so this is the look so far, and it's okay, um, the concealer is looking kind of orange, like, under my eyes, but it doesn't look bad, so, I will check back in with you guys in a couple hours with, like, my final thoughts. Okay, so we're in the bathroom, it's the only place where I can get, like, somewhat decent lighting after the sun goes down in my apartment, but, overall, um, the foundation I probably won't be using again because it wore off really fast, I have been wearing this makeup for almost 12 hours, but, it wore off pretty quickly. The eyeshadow I really liked and the mascara surprised me that it didn't crumple at all. Like it's still still there. The lip product I also liked, it wore off pretty quickly, but it was comfortable and it doesn't claim to be long lasting, so that was good. So I liked the mascara surprised me. Eyeshadow um was good. Lipstick I liked. Um I also really liked the blush. I mean it's worn off now because it's been almost twelve hours, but the blush looked really pretty. Everything else was kind of eh for me, like this eyeliner, still hate. Um, foundation not great, powder was a little bit too drying for my skin, but yeah. It's kind of like my overall thoughts on today's makeup to look, but um, I will see you guys next time.